Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Elizabeth, and today I wanted to come on with a message about creating your life. And so this has just been on my mind lately, and especially with the new year and everything. And I just want to share that it's important to create your life. Now, remember, a lot of these messages are to myself, but I'm hoping that it can help one of you guys as well. And so if we want something for our life or multiple things, if we want to be healthier, if we want to be happier, if we want to have good relationships, if we want a good relationship with ourselves, if we want to build a business, if we want to do some charity work or impact a certain problem in the world, then we have to be intentional about it, right? We can't just wake up and just live our lives and go with the routine and go to work and come home and then do the same thing. And then 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40 years have gone by and you haven't done what you wanted to do. And so it's important to make the time. And so there's a lot of tips on doing this, like planning your year in advance, planning your days the night before, um, block scheduling, time blocking, and actually being intentional and playing life on offense. But you really have to define what you want and be intentional. And so if you want something in your life, you have to do it. I know it's so simple. Like in some of these concepts are just, they, they might seem so simple, but sometimes I just need this reminder. Like instead of just complaining about something, it's like, you have to be intentional. If you want to be healthier, plan out a healthy meal, start eating healthier, have all the macronutrients, have protein, carbs, and fat at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and have some snacks in between and have mostly whole foods and calorie dense, sorry, <laughs> dense foods. You don't necessarily need these super calorie rich foods, but you want foods that are lower in calorie density, but that are high in nutrients and antioxidants and vitamins, these micronutrients, right? And so these foods will help you feel good and will help you to perform better. And if you want to stop being in pain, you might need to go to physical therapy. You might need to go weight lift. You might need to actually exercise daily. I know this made a huge difference in my life. And this is something that I've been doing in 2024 is committing to exercise at least six days a week of intense exercise. And then I am also on my rest day, like doing a walk or a Pilates or something. But I realized that I actually needed to move more and I feel so much happier when I'm moving more. And I used to be someone who exercised multiple times a day and just like, I just loved it. I just loved it. I was a fitness instructor, etc., And I just had a good time and it made me feel good. And I had the time to do it. But then as I had my son and then, um, just a bunch of things started happening in my life. And so my exercise, it just wasn't as big of a priority and it was harder, right? And so I have a lot of respect and compassion for people who are maybe really overweight and they go out and they work out because it's hard. It's hard even if you're somewhat fit to do it, you know? And so you have to make the time for things. Like I have to make the time. If I want to be a healthy person, if I want to be healthier, I have to make the time. I have to go get the meals. I have to plan the meals. I have to actually follow the plan and not just eat whatever I want. And I have to actually exercise daily. How much easier is that if a doctor says, Hey, like what's your exercise routine? It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't really exercise that much. I might walk every once in a while. That is not the same as if you actually are like, yeah, I go to the gym or I work out for at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day. Typically I'll do running. I might do some Pilates. I love weightlifting as well, etc. Or even more specific than that, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do weightlifting every Tuesday and Thursday I go swimming. And so that's a lot different. That is showing that you're showing up and you put that in your calendar and you're intentional, right? And so with anything that you have in your life, if you want to have more adventures with your family, you have to plan it, plan it, say, Hey, in January, we're going to go ice skating. In February, we're going to go snow tubing. In March, we're going to go to the children's museum. Whatever it is, you have to plan it and be intentional. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyways, I hope this message was helpful for you and a few questions to take away for yourself. I know I just talked about health. That is something on the forefront and on my mind for me. But ask yourself, what do I actually want to do with my life? What do I want to spend my time on? What do I enjoy spending my time on? where do I feel the most energized and happy? Do I feel like I'm missing something? If so, what am I missing? And what do I want to do more of in my life? And then once you identify that, that's when you go, oh, I need to go do that. Like, hey, I want to go do this dance class or hey, I really miss my best friend. Like I really want to do a walk with her every week or go get coffee or whatever right? And so be intentional. And if you want to create a certain life, first identify what that is and then go create it. And so I highly recommend you do this. Let me know in the comments below what you want to do with your life and how you're going to be intentional with your life. I am going to work on this and I am continually working on this, but I know it's made a difference for me when I actually identify what I want and then I commit to a habit and put it in the schedule 
and then I end up doing it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope this message was helpful. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos on my channel. Feel free to check them out. I have videos on mindset, on encouragement. I have some positivity that can hopefully help you some little life lessons. I also talk about finance and success and achieving your goals. And I do have some healthy recipes and things as well. So let me know what videos you enjoy. If you have any more videos that you want me to make more of, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. You've got this. Be intentional. Create the life that you want, it's possible. Bye guys. You got this. I'll see you in the next video.